this is about, <clears throat> life begins. So in the Quran, Allah tells us how life begins. So it says, long, long ago, there was no earth, no sky, no sun, no planets, no clouds, no words, no moon, no nothing. <laughs> Good answer. There was no nothing. Then how was their words? I'm going to get there. Then there was darkness everywhere. So just imagine it, there was nothing and it was just dark. Then Allah thought of making a beautiful world, a world full of purpose. So have you ever just been sitting and you have nothing to do and you're like, mm, I want to make something. And you have this like idea, right? And you then you go and you create something. So Allah is the creator of all that we see, right? Allah just said the words and there was the earth and the sky. Can you imagine you want to like just go do a painting and you're like earth and it just like, paints on earth without you actually having to do anything. You got to go get your paintbrush. You got to get your canvas. You got to get paint. You got to be able to be a good drawer, right? But Allah just said, I want to make an earth. I want to make a sky. There was the bright sun, the shining moon, and twinkling stars. That, that's, that's Allah's power. That He just says, I want this, and it, and it gets created. Yes. I'll get there, inshallah. Then came the dry land and the oceans. By just saying the words, Allah made them all. Allah made the earth in two days. On it, he placed very big mountains. In six days, he formed the sky into seven heavens. The lowest heaven, he hung with brilliant stars and sent bright comets flying between them. Allah made the earth circle around the sun so that there would be night and day and many different seasons too. If you start learning about how everything works and how it's just so perfect, it's amazing. SubhanAllah. And the Quran talks about these things. Allah filled the vast universe <clears throat> with thousands of stars and many planets, all spinning swiftly, but never touching each other. The planets, they're just floating, but they don't crash into each other. But like a medium. What? Medium. Mediums? They're like rocks. Oh, they're like rocks? Yeah. Yeah? Did you want to say something? No? Okay. Allah made lovely flowers, roses and pansies, bluebells and lupins, hollyhocks and daisies. Where did the flowers come from? Allah made them all. He made all things large and tiny, little insects and black ants that crawl around on the ground, and the busy bees that fly from flower to flower to collect sweet honey. honey. But did you know that the bees also do another job? They make honey, but they do a really, really important job. Do you know what it is? They pollinate the flowers. And if we didn't have things like bees and birds, hummingbirds, butterflies, then the fruits that grow on some of the trees, that wouldn't happen. And we wouldn't have honey. Oh, what, what a shame that would be. If we didn't have honey... And no honey, that would be so sad. We actually really depend on the bees because they go to all the flowers and they pollinate them and that's how we get our food. They make wax and you can use the wax, you can use the honey. The bees are an incredible creature and Allah talks about them and teaches us about them in the Quran.
Allah made juicy fruits. So like we said, those bees, they go and they pollinate the flowers and then we get juicy fruits. Mangoes, oranges, cherries, crunchy apples, sweet grapes, and soft bananas. Where did the fruits come from? Allah made them all. Okay, raise your hand if you want to tell me your favorite fruit. Okay, I'll go in, in this direction, yes. Strawberries, watermelon, pomegranate. Pomegranate and watermelon. Watermelon. Mango. Oh, mango. What's your favorite? Apple, raspberry. Strawberry. Raspberries? Look at all of the variety. Say subhanallah. There is so much variety of the foods that we can choose to eat. And Allah made them all for us to enjoy. But imagine the fruits in Jannah. There's going to be even stuff that we've and, never... And some healthy candies. And healthy candies? <laughs> You'll never be... But, but what is better? A piece of fruit or that, that health, even if it's a healthy candy? Which one is better? The fruit. The fruits are from Allah's creation. Those candies, people take them and they put all these ingredients in a factory and they mix it up and then they, they give it to you in a package. The fruits, they come from Allah's creation, from the trees that he made, from the seeds that grow the trees. But, but the four seeds have Which one is not halal? The, the candies? Yeah, the red candies. Oh, the red candies. Oh, okay, okay. With the red coloring? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Oh, yeah. Sometimes they do use red bugs. Allah made the animals. Some live in the forests. Large elephants, fat hippos, cunning foxes, fierce tigers, striped zebras, and tall giraffes. Fluffy rabbits, strong horses, grazing cows and sheep. Allah made them all. All of them. And can you imagine, if you go to different parts of the world, there are different kinds of animals in different areas. Can, can you believe that? Then? If you go to, like, Hawaii, you might see animals that you don't see here. If you go to Africa, you'll see animals there that you don't see here. SubhanAllah, there's different kinds of animals everywhere. First you and then you. You went to Hawaii? Did you see any animals that were new to you? Oh, really? You too? You went. You both went to Hawaii because you're sisters. You went together, right? <laughs> oh, mashallah. It's so beautiful, right? Beautiful birds flying in the sky, spreading their wings and closing them. Green parrots, white ducks, Colorful chickens, flying sparrows, dancing peacocks, singing quails, diving kingfishers, warbling larks, and many, many more. Where did they all come from? Yeah, it's like repetitive at that end, right? Allah made them all because it's just reminding us that all of this vast creation, it was all created by Allah for us to benefit from and we use the animals right yes I think that's supposed to be like a walrus yeah <laughs> does it maybe a little bit yeah Allah made the large oceans and the big seas which cover the earth with water and form into deep lakes and long rivers. Have you ever thought about how much of the earth is water? A thousand? Do you think more of the earth is land or more of the earth is water? More of the earth is water. And more of your body is also water. You need water to have life, right? 
And if more of the earth is water, do you think that we even know everything that lives on this planet earth? No, because there are things in the, in the oceans that humans have still not learned about. They've still not discovered them. There's a whole life happening in the oceans of the earth that we, we still haven't been able to explore. And that's why scientists are so interested in going into the ocean so they can learn about these creations and these creatures that Allah has made. Some scientists, their whole job is to go and look for animals that no one has ever discovered before. What a cool job, right? Because when you see that animal, you'd be like, subhanAllah, look at another creation of Allah that I just discovered. How cool would that be? Maybe one day you guys will be scientists that you go and you get to discover Allah's creation. Allah made the sea monsters and all the fishes big and small, large blue whales like mountains and cruel tiger sharks with big jaws. Oh, what's this animal? Crab. Allah made the crabs and lobsters and shrimps, huge eels and octopuses, swordfish and jellyfish, and all the many ocean plants and animals. SubhanAllah. Allah gave us rain and sunshine, cool breezes and clouds passing by. Thank you, Allah, for making such a wonderful world. You think you know what's going to happen in the first what? 